everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I haven't been here for a while and I've decided to come on to do July's horoscopes. I don't know. I felt like I had that energy and I feel like, you know, I really wanted to do this. It's been a while since I've been here. So I want to say hi and I hope everyone is doing great. Okay. So I'm going to do the Zodiac readings and I'm going to start with the sign of Cancer. And it's going to be a very general reading and I do not do reversals anymore. I don't accept reversal cards because tarot has all the cards it needs to explain a story. They don't need to be in the reverse, okay? So um, I'm going to start with you, Cancer. And happy birthday, by the way. I hope you're doing great. I, had, I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Um, remember, there is a full moon in the sign of Capricorn on the 3rd, okay? So happy full moon. Um, it's going to be affecting a lot of people. It's your opposite sign. Uh, there may be things that you're going to want to work on, situations that you are going to be thinking about. You're going to be really in your emotions and structures that you want to build and structures that you want to let go of, okay? So this is in the sign of Capricorn. is about, you know, organizing, structuring everything, deciding what we want or don't want in our lives anymore, right? Um, so it's your opposite sign. So it's gonna, you're gonna feel it, you know, just as Capricorn will be feeling it. Capricorn will probably be a little bit more emotional, will probably be thinking about things and situations that they feel that they need to let go of, learn from, or grow with. Okay? So that that's that's the full moon right now, and it's gonna be a super full moon. So it's gonna be beautiful, okay? There's a lot of planetary movements happening right now. So whenever I do the tower, I always tell people take the tower with a grain of salt, okay? That means that you still have free will. Nothing is set in stone. Tarot is a device, right? It is a way of knowing what situations will be coming up or where our energies at. But the end of all game is your decision, your choices, your free will, okay? And by the way, I do have an Etsy shop where I will be giving tarot readings. If you want a tarot read, it will be recorded like this. If you would like a live read, you can contact me at my Etsy shop. And I will do a live read like this where we can see each other. And, I, and you can ask the questions and I throw the cards for you, okay? I also have candle work there. I love doing candle work with different herbs. Um, so I work on, you know, bringing love to you, uh, building love in your uh, current relationship, uh, maybe attracting a love that you want, okay? But that has to be in their own free will. As anything else, that person needs to agree that they want to come back to you, right? Because you can't force anyone to come back to you you can only feel loving thoughts between you both but that person in the end has their own choices right just like tarot you make your own choice same thing with the candles and the herbs and everything else we have free will right if god thinks it's okay for that person to come into our lives if god feels that 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 moment is a good moment for them to come in if the universe feels it yes and if you are making that choice to allow them in then yes right um, I do honey jars there. Honey jars is if you have a, you know, you're in a relationship, right? And you want to sweeten the relationship up. I do honey jars, okay? I can also do things to sour things if you feel like, you know, this person is driving you crazy. You want a way for them to feel like they need to go. We can do that also. Remember, again, this is all energy and that has to be both of you free will on deciding that and God's will, right? Because we have a lot of things going on in our lives, a lot of energies working, okay? Anyhow, I'm going to get into um, Cancer's reading. Uh, my Etsy shop is also called Abundantly Spiritual, so look it up. It's on Etsy, and you can order whatever you need there. I will put, I will put the, um, how you call it, um, the link to my Etsy shop here in this channel, I'll put the link so that you can see it and you can hit on it. And if you want your own tarot reading, whether it be live like this, or if you want me to, you want to send some questions to me and I pull out the tarot cards, I will give you a reading like this, you know, recorded for you. Okay. Um, so either way, I can tell you when I'm going to send it. I am working. I'm a full-time RN, so I may not send it right away, but it will take me a few days but you will get your tarot reading, okay? And the same thing if you want a live reading, it's going to take a few days because I have to be available in order for us to do that reading, okay? And I do have a second job, okay? My Etsy shop is doing great. I'm very excited with it. I have a lot of clients um, that now are full-time clients and they only come to me. So I'm very excited about that. It's almost like when you have your own hairdresser, 
it, it's working wonderfully. They have their own person that they can go to to talk to, that I can lay, light some candles, herbs, depending on what they want, whether it be abundance, success, whether they want to lose weight. Um, I can use different herbs for that, whether they want to attract someone, whether they want to build in their relationship or whether they want to have, you know, God, universe and energies pull away someone who is bringing them down in their lives. OK, so I help you with that also. But remember, all of it is free will and it's God's timing and it's God's will and it's universe will and your choice. All right. So, again, let's begin with Cancer's reading. Cancer, your overall energy right now for this month, it's going to be the hangman and the hangman is really putting yourself to see things differently to view things in a different way okay because when the hangman comes up as you can see he's what hanging upside down he's t he's looking at things in a different way he's looking at things in a different view he hasn't made a decision but he's seeing things and looking at things in a different way Okay, so you're going to be looking at things and situations and seeing how you're going to move forward with them and how to move forward with them. Okay, so this is you looking at things in a different way, not being, you know, just one way, but seeing things from every view and trying to come up with a plan and deciding how to move forward. Okay, so this is where you take in all that information. All right. Um, you also have the Ace of Orbs. I'm doing the tarot decks. I want to go over the tarot decks because this is important. A lot of people always ask me which tarot decks. I'm using the Tarot 3D. That was your primary card was the hangman looking at things and seeing how you're going to move forward, right, in a different way. And this one is the Syrian Starseed Tarot. So if anyone is interested, this is the Syrian. It is my favorite tarot deck, by the way, the Syrian. I love the Starseed Syrian tarot deck okay and then we have the wisdom angel wisdom tarot which i'm using here okay and we're also going to get a card from archangel michael's um doreen virtual cards here oracle cards which i love archangel michael i work with him very much okay so these are your different these are your different cards that you're going to be seeing coming up in your reading okay again you got the hangman and looking at things differently and really assessing things and doing it in a different way and seeing things you know, and going about it differently, okay? You're not taking action. You're just looking and getting a different bird's eye view, okay? We do have the um, Ace of Orbs here. So I see that there is going to be a new business venture or something with your finances or a decision, something new that you're going to venture into, okay? And that is going to help grow your finances, your money, your money, okay? This is about growing your money and being emotionally fulfilled. So there is an offer here of some kind with the Ace of Pentacles. It's an offer either you're getting or you're giving, okay? Or that you're going to take, okay? Because it's going to help you grow your finances, okay? We got the higher self here. I think that a lot of you this month are going to be really listening to your intuition, really listening to your heart and your mind. Attach these two. It's important to have your heart and mind attached, right? Because you can't just be like, oh, I, you know, I'm just going to be like, listening to my mind, let your heart also lead you, right? Your mind can work things together, put things together abstractly, but your heart is going to let you feel if that's the right, you know, if that's how you're going to do it. You know, do I feel right with this decision that I made? Your heart will let you feel that, right? So this is you really going into your highest self, into your intuition and asking yourself, where do I feel good? Do I want this offer? Do I want to grow this? Uh, do I want to put this plan out there now that I see things, you know, now that I have looked from every angle, you know, even upside down to see the situation, you know, to see and make sure that this is right for me. Okay. So this is what I'm getting here. Okay. We got the two of orbs. This is balancing your emotions, balancing yourself out, really, um, balancing every situation and handling it well, because she's, she's like, she doesn't look like she's having a hard time. Okay. She looks like she's, I'm sorry, there's a breast coming out there. Um, and sometimes, you you know, YouTube doesn't like it, but it's half of a breast. Anyhow, this is you balancing things out and working it out. No matter what struggles come in, you're going to handle it. You're going to be able to handle it. And it's a lot to do with your finances. I know you feel like, oh man, I have all these big plans, these big ideas. There's something I really want to move forward with, whether it be a business, a new contract or whatever. And that means that I have to have a balancing act. And you're going to get through. You're going to be fine. Things are going to work wonderfully. Okay? Now, we're doing the 
Angel Wisdom Tarot deck, okay? And I took out some cards here too because, you know, I wanted to see the whole energy here. You got the Queen of Wands. This could be someone you're dealing with, okay? Doesn't have to be a female and then, it, you know, because cards don't have a sex. This is someone who's very passionate. It can even be you, right? This is someone very passionate uh, very stern, wants things done a certain way. And when they're passionate about something, they go after it. They don't care. You know, they don't care whatever. You know, they know what they want and they're sticking to their guns, okay? And a lot of times you see her with the black cat there. This person can be kind of like mystical, magical, you know, and believes that sometimes, you know, in good luck, believes in candles and things. You could be dealing with someone who's, you know, very intuitive and in the unknown quite a bit, okay? And this, you know, it's just maybe this person can be mysterious too, but yet passionate, right? That can be you, that can be someone else, okay? Um, what I see here is that either you or this person can be very egotistical, okay? Or so it's some form of egotistical here or someone who wants things their way or something that you need to let go because you see the angel cutting this person away. You need to let go in order to move forward. Maybe there's someone pulling you back or maybe this person who's so stuck in her ways is pulling you back, right? And you need to let go of this person, the situation, okay? Because it could be a situation. It doesn't have to be a person, all right? There's someone in your energy or maybe yourself. That could be your own energy, your own passionate energy, your own shrewd energy. You know, maybe universe is telling you, let go of your ego in order to move forward. It could be letting go of a person or letting go of your own ego, Okay. I see you overthinking things or situations. There's a lot of overthinking, not knowing which way to go, you know, not knowing, you know, how things are going to fend out. But don't worry because the universe has your back, you know. Your, the answers you're looking for are there, okay. You just need to be balanced, okay. Because then we got the six of pentacles. To me, this is being balanced, okay. To me, this means that you just need to balance yourself out, to balance your time out, right. Because it seems like sometimes you're into too many things and giving to too many people maybe all right um and that's causing kind of like problems with your finances and now that you're going to go and venture into a new business or something that you're going to sign that's going to help you grow your finances you want to be balanced in that area okay so just be careful with that and it could be that someone who's always wanting something or needs something from you okay because and that's probably what has you stuck like this and and you needing to let go of this person because they just are too tough. They just want things their way. That could be another situation, okay? Because um, we see the cutting away with the sword of an individual who just doesn't see things right. Or doesn't see things the way you do, okay? We got the world here because things are going to get better for you. Things are going to be improving. What it is that you want and need, you're going to get it, okay? The world card tells me that there is a great possibility here of succeeding in what you're looking to grow okay and the magician card is telling me that everything you want is in your reach that means that you have whatever it is you need to succeed okay so don't feel like oh i can't do it you know i don't think this business venture is going to work because it is going to work it is going to help your finances uh you're probably going to need to let go of someone who's pulling on you or probably let go of your own energy or your negative thoughts or your egotistical ways, or maybe things that you are, oh, you know, putting too much attention to, you need to cut those out, okay? Because we have the ego card in cutting something out, right? Whether it be an individual, a feeling, an emotion, a place, a thing, I don't know what it is. Every, every cancer is going through something different. Okay, so then we have the Queen of Cups. This is, a, this is another individual here. So we have someone who's very loving, caring, it could be you or it could be someone else. And the Queen of Cups is a water sign, Cancer, right? This is someone who's emotionally balanced, who, you know, is very nurturing and wants to help everyone. I feel this is the type of person that you are. Cancer is the type of person who wants to help and be there for their friends, right? And be there for their families. But sometimes there are certain people who can take a little bit too much from us, okay? We have the King of Pentacles here. So we got the Queen of Pentacles cups and the king of pentacles so we have two individuals this could be a commitment you're in this could be just your energy and someone else who's balanced who's helping you per, you know balance yourself out who's helping you with finances or maybe you'll be you're helping someone else with finances who you know you are you know attached to someone who's very balanced okay and i think these two are working well but there's a third energy here and this third energy may be kind of 
not helping you out in your situation, okay? So that's where you need to cut it out. If this is something with a three-party situation, three-party situations are never good, people. I always tell people that you have a third-party situation, you're dealing with someone else, and you're still in love with someone else, it's better off you stay by yourself until you decide who you really want to be with, okay? That's, that's, that's the end game of it all. If you feel connected more to one than you do the other, then let go of the other. Let go of the one that's draining you. Because, you know, your whole life, your body, how you react, your mindset will tell you, this patient, this person is making you erratic. This person is not making you happy. Then let go of that person. And three parties, situation never work. They never work. I mean, people do it all the time. People are always, you know, you know, because people like the excitement of having something different, right? But it causes issues. It causes problems. So best to be by yourself. If you have feelings for someone else and you're dealing with another, no, you know, keep it all copacetic and be independent then, right? But if you feel like there's someone who's bringing your energy down and they're really like, it's, you know, weighing in on you, then it's time to let them go. Because sometimes we hold on to people because of our ego, because we don't want to feel like, we, you know, we're giving up or we have a little bit of attraction to that person. So we hold on to them, yet we have someone else we love. Okay. So I see a situation here that you need to let go of something that you need to let go. I see someone else here who's offering this cup of love to you. And I see someone who's offering you stability, right? And you have stability with that person. All right. They may be a lot more calmer than the queen of wands but the queen of wands is very fiery energy and it can be it can burn at times that fire energy can be you know kind of burning the earth energy and the water energy is a good energy that seems to be mixed well and i'm not saying that you know the queen of wands can't be with the king of pentacles what i'm saying is that right now this queen of wands from what i'm looking at is causing a situation whether it be your own passions or a person because it could be your own emotional passions your own you know weaknesses that you go after passionately and it's causing a problem to this beautiful commitment and it's something you need to let go of okay um we do see the chariot so that's moving you know moving forward okay and doing things the best you can we do get the eight of pentacles that's working together to build your money so you're going to be working with someone whether it be romantically or a partnership, someone you're going to be working with and you're going to be building together. I think it's a partnership because I see a man and a woman here working together. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be a man and a woman. It could be a man and a man, a woman and a woman, because again, tarot has no sex. Okay. So what I see here is two people coming together, moving forward to work, increase, make things better for each other. However, I do see the Eight of Cups came out afterwards. So I want to clarify what this Eight of Cups means for you in your life. Okay, so we're going to clarify with one of the Illuminati cards because I love them. So we're going to ask the Illuminati card. What is, why is the Eight of Cups here for Cancer? What is the Eight of Cups? Could it be that there's something you need to walk away from or someone? Maybe you are on a third party situation and this is telling you. You know, there's something you need to walk away or something you need to let go, whether it be energy wise, whether it be a person thing or a situation. So why is the eight of cups here for cancer? Why is the eight of cups here for cancer? Um, why is the eight of cups here for cancer? Um, universe, angels, ancestors, anyone who can give me an answer. Okay, so we got three cards that came out. We got the Ace of Wands. It's something you are passionate about. Something you are, you have a lot of passion for, right? But it's, you need strength for this. You need strength for this. And in order to have this, you need to be like the fool and go in a new direction. Okay? So there's something here that you want to walk away from. To go where you feel more stability. Okay? That's the overall energy here. You need to go you remove yourself or walk away from something that you're emotionally tied to that hasn't caused you much happiness, okay? And in order to do that, you need to take a leap of faith. Let it go so you can have your stability. You know, the strength card is here. Or this is going to be an endless, endless cycle for you, okay? So let go of that situation person place and thing 
and you're going to find um, your passions. You know, your life will be more passionate. Things will be more better as soon as you let go of whatever situation here um, or a person. Because I could see a cutting away of something or someone. All right. So this is your overall energy. It seems like you're going to be doing good. You're going to be really like the hangman looking at everything, you know, seeing things, you know, looking at things differently in order to come up with a conclusion here. I see that there is a lot of love. There is uh, new beginnings. There is working on something and there's letting go of something and really your finances are going to be growing for the month of july so you got a lot of things going on it's it's a wonderful reading you're moving forward there's a lot a lot of things you're going to be working on um once you let go of this this is something here that you have to let go in order to regain your balance regain your strength and move forward in a passionate way so whatever that may be, whether it be a third party situation, whether it be someone who's holding you back, whether you have three, two other people, yeah, there's one person that needs to go. All right. Love and light. I hope these messages resonated with you. And remember, look at my abundantly spiritual. I do honey jars too. I wanted to show the honey jar. So I do honey jars. If you are in a relationship, it just has initials here. And I do them and I hold them for 21 days and of course then I get rid of it, right? Because I can't keep this honey jar forever. It's only good for 21 days. It's to sweeten the situation, to sweeten the relationship and bring that sweetness back so you both are, you know, like candy stuck on each other. Love and light. Let me know how this reading went. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.